All right, so I want to do kind of a quick, uh, quick speed test on some things between my iPad original and my iPad third generation. So first is just booting up. Um, so we'll see what happens here. I'm going to try and hit both buttons at the same time. You can't see. Let's see. Nothing's happening. I guess I have to hold it down a little longer. All right, let me get a good grip here. Okay, so the first one shows the, app, the, the Apple earlier. That's interesting. Come on, iPad 3, don't let me down. That's more like it. Okay, so that's not that big of a difference. Now I'm going to just log into both machines. Let's get this thing tilted up. Um, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got them both booted up. Um, there's some obvious differences already. Um, there's camera apps on my new iPad because there's no camera on the first one um, but I'm gonna try and load up some common apps here and uh, see what loads fastest so let's try my tweet bot hopefully it won't ask for any account information or anything okay so not too different but First one's definitely faster. That's good. All right. Uh, let's go to the App Store. Now this needs some updates, so that makes sure that makes sense that it would take longer to load. So those are about the same, not too bad. So it's really with the graphics intensive stuff. Um, let's see here. What's a good one? Oh, that Diamond Dash game. Now it might end up taking, well, we'll have to see. This, the iPad 3, it has better resolution, better images for the iPad 3. So we'll just have to see what happens here. Watch it ask for my account information or something. Yeah. Ugh. Never mind. Let's see. So I haven't downloaded Infiltrator here yet, but we can try the Mass Effect 3 data pad, see, see how that loads. Because I think I've logged in on both of them. And let's see. That's not, not too bad. There's definite, definitely a speed difference, but it's, it's minimal. Um, so I really think where we're going to see it is in games, but I'm not sure what the best one would be for an example. Well, actually, let me do GarageBand. That should be a significant difference. Yeah. <laughs> So that, that is significant. Optimizing performance, you know, and it didn't do any of that for this one. See, this has, you know, seven tracks. Okay. 
So I, I think that was significant. And it takes longer to get back, out, get out of the app. It takes longer for GarageBand to stop thinking on this one. There we go. Uh, let's see. How about Plants vs. Zombies? Although, I don't think I have... I don't have a game. Well, no, it's ba it's backed up from the other one. Okay, let's just try and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. So, that's that's pretty significant as well, I think. Okay, let's try something simple, because I did this before, so to show some co-workers, so it should be a good example, iBooks. And I think I already have the Winnie Pooh book open in both, both iPads. Yeah. Da, 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 and we wait, and we wait. <laughs> there we go. So that's really significant. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's try the Bible app. So that, I mean, that's a pretty good, pretty good difference, I think. Especially if you're sitting in church trying to look up a verse or something. March Madness, maybe? Am I set up on both of them, though? I think I am. Yeah, wow. <laughs> uh, well... Yeah, apparently I'm not up to date, so that, that, could, that could be part of it. Marathon. Let's see what happens there. This is a classic game for the Mac from like 96. And that is loud. Okay, so let's see. If, no, don't have a new game. Easy. See this? What is this thing doing? <laughs> what the heck? So I'm already playing here. Kill the bobs. See you, star side. That's Bungie's new Bungie's new uh, motto. There it goes. See. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to blame that on. All right. So that's it for now. I may think of some better apps to speed test it with, and I'll. Come back later with some demos, maybe some more speed tests. We'll see. Thanks. Bye.